and expressive therapy bypasses language. The kids here at the Peace Clubs and Lyra have all either been former child soldiers or captives to the LRA. We've had children who were subjected to kill their own parents. We've had children who were formerly abducted and the children who were born in captivity. We have children, among us these children, who were forced to eat even human flesh. But even so, hope is not lost completely. The atrocities that these children have gone through, they truly don't have the words for. So it helps them to get out the pain that they have inside. And that can be done through dance and drama and music and art and storytelling. I just recently heard really of art therapy. I've, I've never known much about it. And when I heard the Exile International was doing art therapy with former child soldiers, I immediately asked them if I could come to Africa with them and do art with these kids. So we use the handkerchiefs um, because it represents the children's tears. And we have happy tears, we have sad tears, and we tell them that God captures their tears in his bottle. It's actually safer for a child to be able to communicate in that way when they've been traumatized at such a severe level. When they were drawing the past, you saw lots of helicopters, you saw lots of blood, and you saw bullets, and it just goes to show the details that are still in their mind literally coming out on paper. They talk about their heartache and often their eyes are fixed and they're very determined because they have all of these details inside of them that they just need to get out. It has been amazing to see them draw and to tell their story. And what's amazing about this is the things that come out in the art a lot of times are not things that come out when they talk. And so we're literally seeing their stories come to life through the art where they might not have with just interviewing them and talking with them. Our hope and our dream for these children are really their dreams, which is to be more than survivors of war, but to be leaders for peace. I don't think there's anything more inspiring than seeing these kids be redeemed and be new again through this art therapy process. So the desire of my heart is that from all that we have gone through in Northern Uganda or in Uganda as a whole, we should have leaders who are willing to have a peaceful resolution to whatever conflict that is among us them. When you talk about how God can use their pain to create purpose in order to help other children who have gone through war, you just see their face shift because they realize what I went through wasn't just for evil, that what the enemy intended for evil that God can really turn into good. And we believe that when your greatest heartache becomes your greatest ministry, then grace comes full circle. I truly believe that the world can learn from these children. If the rest of the world could learn about survival at this level and forgiveness at this level and healing at this level, then the world would change. It would be different.